Yeah, because how would that be? So much worse. It's <laughs> exhausting. God. Turn it yeah. Off. yeah, you seriously. Then I'd be really hated. So I'm actually. I, I you hate him a lot. I, more. Yeah, so I should, I should probably be thankful that I don't get to. We got a sample. Of it. Could be a lot worse. Yeah. Could be a lot. Crying. I. You know what? I cried about ninety percent of the time. So it's good. <laughs> this is about ninety percent. Ninety percent of the Sorry. time I was crying. Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, ninety percent. Ninety percent of the camera time was, was probably me crying. So I'm fortunate that uh, they only used like what about two minutes. So it was good because I mean, really. So did the other guys like? How did they deal with your crying? Uh, you know, it's funny is I, I got to see how they dealt with it after the fact. So like the confessionals are, are how I find out what people really think because in the house like there was never any real like for example is like I, I Corey Hill on a, on a couple of occasions like I hate that motherfucker blah 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 this and that on the show like at the house excluding the one time when he got in my face he was really cool to me like I never had one issue with him like there's a few times he had issues with people and I kind of stepped in and he's like thanks man I appreciate that and I was like oh I was always cool with Corey but then like I'm watching the show and his confession is like ah that guy rose me the wrong way I want to bite his face and this and that and I was like it's kind of funny to, to see, you know, no, like, I, I, one thing about me is I definitely, if I had an issue, I would say it to your face. Like, yeah. there was never a time that There's I'd be like, holding gay back. No, I, but, but, you know, I, I, I appreciate people like that. If anyone was like, you know what, I really don't like you, and they would, would have said it to my face, I would have, wouldn't have had a problem with that. I'd be like, cool. perfect. Yeah. You know, like, another was like, Brandon Melendez, like, oh, I saw him, I would have punched him in his face. Every time I was around Brandon Melendez, he was super cool to me. Like, if you're going to say you're going to punch me in the face, then, like, Say it when I'm, you know what I mean? Like, we're face to face, because I certainly will. So like, how, and, how often did they have you do the confessionals? Um, like, anytime something would happen, or? Yeah, but a lot of times they would do, like, like a, a, a recap confessional. So they'd have, like, 15 things that happened written down. And like, they, they would talk, they'll say, they'd be like, yeah, they, 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 like, for, like, they'd be like, oh, you know what? We didn't talk about this. So what did you think of the fight last week? And you're like, which fight last week? Uh, and so, I mean, but the confessionals, they were pretty consistent. You know, but like, but then they'd have like backlog. You know what I mean? And the producer would come in. And they'd be like, "Okay, we need to talk about this, this, and this. Let, let's, you know, take us back to this day." So you know, like you'd be talking about stuff that was like a week old. So it's hard. It's a little rough. A little rough. But I actually, I, I, I didn't mind the confessions. You know. I was, I, so then you don't see anything until you watch the show. Um, I was trying. Or did you see stuff? Before no. That? I mean, I, I, I was trying to be. Uh, you know, I, I didn't want to. I, 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 it's actually one of the producers. She's the same way. She's like, I just want to see it when it airs. You know, she didn't. I mean, even did other people it. watch stuff as it went? Yeah, yeah. The other fighters watched stuff. A couple guys uh, saw saw some stuff in advance, and I just I wanted to kind of watch it and, and experience it. And you know, I think uh, the next episode I'm actually gonna, is going to be the first one that I've seen in advance. And um, when you guys are in the house and the cameras are going, mm -hmm. and you, like you guys get in each other's face, are you? You're like, I'm going to put on a show for this camera? Or do they eventually kind of disappear, like, and it just becomes part of... You know, no, no, no. You're fully Well, it was actually, it was pretty funny, because, like, uh, uh, my roommate and I, uh, we found out if we... Because if we, you're mic the entire time. Like, we get in the bed, and, and, and we're like, you know what? I'm if, if tomorrow, if this guy says... I'd be like, you know, if, if so-and-so says one thing, I'm going to, and then all of a sudden the doors bust open, and there's a camera crew. Like, <laughs> and then we're like, you know what? I'm gonna, I, never mind. I'm going to go to bed. And then they go, <laughs> they go lock out. So we would mess around with the camera crew a little bit, but like, yeah, if there was any controversy, there was a camera, like, boom. I mean, because the whole house has cameras, and then everything is mic'd. So like, the producers are like, you know, we always, there's always two camera crews around, and then, but there was also like, you know, they, they had the headset and be like, go to room two, they're talking about, you know, whatever, whatever. So, Andy. And so the first time that happened and stuff, were you like, Whoa. Yeah, no, it's a little annoying, like, you're like, you're like, trying to have like, confidential time, you know what I mean? And then like, the camera busts in, and the, and you're like in the middle of a. You're looking. So at, then you started playing in a little. Well, I mean, they're like okay. Perfect example is like, I'll be the first to say I really don't like Matt Wyman, and I didn't like him before we got on the show, and like, you know, there there, there was an issue between us that, you know, it, but it, it definitely made it a lot easier to antagonize Matt when the cameras were on because I knew that that would be a, a, a portion of the show, especially because every time we go to a confessional. They'd be like, what's up with you and Matt Wyman? And then everyone else would be like, well, how can we go into a confession? Everyone wants to talk about Matt Wyman, about you and Matt Wyman. I'm like, you know what? It's not hard for me because I really don't like the guy anyways. So, you know, yeah, maybe I'll antagonize him a little bit more when the camera's around. And I said a lot of stuff to him that, like, in a normal situation, I normally never would say. But I knew the cameras are on, and I don't like the guy, so it was easy. 
You know what I mean? Does so, that make sense? Yeah, so you're coming through the experience together. Do you guys bond in your hatred or anything like that? Or I really genuinely don't like that. And I can say, like, like, like if you show, want to, if we brought Matt Wyman in right now. I, I would never, like, you know, I, I, I've kind of gotten past getting into street fights and all that kind of stuff. But uh, I, I genuinely don't like him. And I, I, he's someone that I, I, I would, you know, if, if I can do you it, like it multiple times. Multiple times.